Hey, it's Joel. Welcome to 3D Printing Nerd Studios, proudly powered by PCB Way. If you set off, link in the description. You know what to do. It is a hat day. It's a hat day. Since the beginning of time, I've loved wearing hats. I like hats. This one, um, rep cord. My buddy Pooch gave me a rep cord hat, representing. I love it. In fact, my hairstyle was influenced 10 years ago because I wore a hat to work at Adobe. And when I got home to record videos for YouTube, I would take off my hat. And that's why I did that with my hair so long ago. It's a different time than it was 10 years ago. We have sweet Repcord hats, but we also have 3D printable hats. User 3DXAV over on Maker World made these really cool hats. And you may recognize the profile because this person was responsible for one of the 3D printable airless basketballs that you, me, and everyone attempted to print so early on. Here it is. This is the hat. This is the hat printed in Cold Star Forge PLA, a tricolor PLA. Print on the Prusa XL. It looks, it looks fantastic. And actually, this is not the first time I've taken this hat and, and put it on the desk here. I got to record a whole bunch of this video before, but I forgot to turn on my mic. So now you get it again. But looking back at that previous footage, you can see that the supports were easy to remove. And just like back then, the hat is much too small for my large head. I mean, I, I still look good. Never to fear though, because we can put the Repcord hat back on and we can put the hat on the table, the Cold Star Forge tricolor PLA hat that I love and adore. And this could be for someone with a smaller head. He had another model, the one for big heads, and it came in two parts. And I printed it on the Prusa XL as well. Here it is. The two parts were 3D glued together. And just like in the before times, I was able to get the supports off pretty easily. And then I was able to gloop it, not as easily, but it's for big heads. And I thought maybe this will fit better. It does fit better. My head is more wide than it is long. And so I think if I were to heat this up and sort of squish it a little bit, the sides would come out the back would come in and it would fit me, it would fit me better. It does, of course, smell of 3D gloop because I put a whole lot of it on here to keep it together and I held it together with tape. I found out I wasn't recording sound properly and I just called it a day. Worst day of my life. And I went home and I ate some tater tots. Now it's a new day though. Now it's a new day. And we get to talk about this a little bit more because there's some really cool features about this hat that I want to explore and <gasps> the hat itself, the normal ball cap looking hat, has this place that you can print something to put on it. While this is bigger, I, I did attempt to scale this hat. So the scaling on the 3D XAV Maker World profile lists this hat, it, it like, it's weird. It goes a certain percentage and then the head grows, but the scale doesn't. So I plugged the scale into ChatGPT and I said, can you please fix the scale? And ChatGPT was like, affirmative. And it gave me some scaling and it said 104.7% scale would take this to this. And I, I tried it on the Prusa XL at 105%. Here it is. Does that filament look familiar there? This is gonna be the Cold Star Forge tricolor PLA. Wanted to make sure I got all the words there, but Take a look. For some reason, using the organic supports at this time gave me a glitch in the matrix because I had a few micro layer shifts at the time. But does it fit? It does. I do run into a similar issue of this one where it's pushing here but not in the back. And I think with a little bit of, a little bit of heat and a little bit of squish, it would probably fit a little bit better. I like the look of this one. I think it's cool. And it actually features something kind of interesting. So you can see this space where a custom front sort of badge can go. It's not on this hat, it's on this style. And 3D XAV made a blank one, but also made one that says 3D Printing Nerd on it. Aw, I love you too. So I printed it. There it is. I printed this on the Bamboo Lab H2D and I utilized some High Five Blue and I sized it to 105% scale because that's what I made this hat and this hat was gonna fit me. So then I printed this and the idea being it would just, it would just go right there and I could gloop it into place and then I would have myself a custom hat. But come on, I don't wanna put this on my glitch hat. If I'm gonna have a glitch hat, 
I wanna make a glitch patch. And so if you have ideas for a glitch patch, head over to the link down below because I'll, I'll take you over to the profile where he has the blank one and whatever 3D printing nerd glitch style you could make at 105%, maybe I'll print them out and I'll test drive them on the hat. But again, didn't want it on the glitch hat because this isn't appropriate. So what did I do? I printed it again. This is going to be in the same Cold Star Forge tricolor filament. And I used regular snug supports rather than organic supports, thinking that all that jumping around caused some sort of tomfoolery. And I just, I just got it off the printer. I mean, that sounds good. Nice. There's all the supports for the brim. Okay, and now the ones up here. That was easy. Some on the side. Again, a non-glitch hat. Uh, I do need to, uh, there's the, the support interface layer and I will, I will get that off here in a moment. I just kind of want to see if it fits. It should, it's, it's just the non-glitch version. Yeah, okay. So now imagine, imagine that. Just walking around, I'm like, yep, check on my hat. Oh, I like this, okay. Uh, again, there's the, the support interface layers and those aren't coming off as easy, but you know, like five minutes with some flush cutters and I'll be, and I'll be good. Heck, I could wear this to a rep rep festival. But wait, <sighs> I'll go get it. This was printed on the Bamboo Lab H2D utilizing Bamboo Lab PLA as support material and the hat was made from flexible PLA. Flexible PLA made by Ataraxia Art. And I wasn't storing it particularly well. It's just sitting out in the big wide open and it's not dried. And uh, I don't know if I used the correct settings, but it, this is this is kind of what it looks like. And I fed it through the, the TPU hole in the machine. I just, I just went for it because I wanted to see if I could do a flexible hat. And so let's see if it works. There's gonna be all the support structures. <laughs> okay, just a little rip right there. Adds flavor. Okay, it's kind of, it's coming away. Ha ha ha! Yeah, look at that! That is a flexible friggin' hat! Yes! Oh my gosh, it fits, oh, it fits well. There's some stringing and stuff inside, but I don't know if I should clean that up because it sort of makes it hug to my head a little bit. All right, well, well, 3D XAV, congratulations on a quite a fun model. And it looks like if people want to use this style ball cap, but at this size, set your scaling to 105% and you should be good to go. Remember that custom patch though, that 3D printing nerd patch, I love it. But at the same time, I think with that blank patch, there's all sorts of opportunity to create more custom apparel even flexible because you can use multiple TPUs. I know in the Prusa XL with those five heads, you could have five different TPUs and make yourself a flexible patch. Maybe that's what I'll do. That could be kind of fun. You know, with 3D printable shoes and now 3D printable hats, and I know Variable Seams is doing clothing. This isn't something that's gonna be seen, you know, in a brick and mortar store, not anytime soon, but it's fun. It's fun and creative and purposeful and unique and bespoke. And, and I just, I like it. In fact, part of, part of that design on the hat, just from not having the perfect filament or the perfect settings, really sort of lends some character to it. That almost lends itself to making it better. And I really, really like that. Listen, wait, I'm sorry, Rep Cord, but this is cool, you gotta admit. I'm sorry, I'm not sorry. Thank you. Thank you for coming along on this really fun journey of 3D printing and style and fashion. And while it's not the most practical thing, printing a hat in rigid materials, I still think there's value there and you could make some interesting art and you could really customize your clothing and customize your style and your experience in this world. And I think therein lies the value and I can't wait to see what you all do with this sort of thing. When you post it online, be sure you tag me because I wanna see how incredible it is. 
Well, listen, if you made this far, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more. Fight for a cause you believe in. 3D print all the things. And as always, high five. Don't worry, I'm not throwing you away.